morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, I didn't hear a speech just about Japan, but also a speech which made me to draw references with Japan. Japan is an inspiration to the world, isn't it? Because they have done things, not just talk about it. Similarly, Toastmaster Ashok had came up with a speech, spoke about Japan and told what they have done in their apartment, which made me feel inspired, not just a talk which we do in Toastmasters. Fantastic job. Second thing, Japan is the cleanest place in the world, isn't it? Similarly, I felt the speech to be quite a clean one. No drama, no uh, hiccups. The speech was going, flowing smoothly right from the beginning till then. Started off with the apartment, then with Japan. Each and every story, there was a good connect and it, it never felt it was artificial. Fantastic job. Third thing, Japanese are too good in rhetorics. Whenever they speak, they use a lot of rhetorical devices. I found a lot of such rhetorical devices in your speech as well. It all starts where it should have started. And questions are the locomotives that run the train of thoughts. Fantastic job. I was able to visualize each and every word you uttered today. And finally, Japan is famous for Kaizen. Continuous, small improvement, isn't it? So this speech is about what improvement you have made from the feedback you got from your previous speech. The feedback which was given to you for the earlier speech was to improve your voice modulation. I found the voice modulation which you used in this speech was appropriate. I never felt it was below par or less than the requirement. You also got a Japanese girl. That modulation was very evident in the way you spoke. Having said all these things, can there be some improvements in this speech? Yes, there are a few. The first thing is contrasting. You, you intelligently added contrast with Japan and India. In India, Chalta hai. I felt you could have narrated it a little more. For example, if after coming late, yeah. in Chennai traffic, good that I came for the meeting. You should be happy for that. One minute for one minute late, you are staring at me. So this kind of uh, a statement could have exaggerated and made me to feel more about the difference between Japan and India. Second thing, I found in the previous evaluation, you were asked, you were uh, told that hand, you were clasping your hands. I found you didn't clasp it too much, yet you were trying to keep it only here. Make it fluid, let the hands flow, or at least keep it down. So you, uh, I wouldn't look at your hands. Sure. The third thing is uh, the facial expression I wanted to say. So you were surprised, but you were smiling. Oh. I was surprised. This kind of uh, difference could have made it more uh, appropriate. So overall, uh, speech which had inspiration, it was a clean speech, had good rhetorics, and you had improved from the previous speech with connect proper hand gesture and facial expression, I wouldn't just enjoy the speech, would definitely take action to make my country as Japan. Thank you. Thank you.